Hey guys and welcome back to This Merchant Life where we are well on our way to our 5,000 gold. We've only got 10 days left to do it though so we need to uh, make off like bandits. Uh, on the way to Randos, I don't really fancy going back up to Randos just yet. 39, okay so that's where we're going. We're going to Lancer because we can pick up a lot of food there for quite cheap. Um, arrows the opposite way. Uh, how's our security right now? We've got a soldier of fortune, Edgar. Um, I'd like this monk. Three trips. He's called Upton. I thought that was the name of a place. Thing is with him, I know he'll be able to just hold his own wherever I put him. He's 200 a trip, he's 100 a trip. He's 50 a trip for the old soldier. I'm going to need to resupply. You know what? Let's get them all. Okay, it's stupid, it's crazy, but it just might work. And then we're heading up to Lancer. A moving library. I'm going to borrow a book again. 100 experience and wits. Right, escort success to Lancer. I didn't know I was even coming to Lancer for a mission, so apparently I was. Uh, right. Let's explore Lancer. Settle on the corner of the winged hussar in the town of Lancer. You make an inconspicuous patron. Still, a powerful individual in leather armour strides directly to your table. After entering the tavern, removes a crossbow from his back and takes a seat opposite you. He sets a crossbow down the table, then meets your eyes. Name's Chekhov. He says simply, mercenary, this here is my crossbow. I call it Chekhov's crossbow. Whenever I mention it, all he seems to end up getting fired at someone. Something about the man's tone and posture suggests that this isn't meant as a threat that it might appear. Calm response, he seems to want to talk about something. Let's see what. Like in the mood, you're fe feeling amiable. Defiant response, you want to make it clear you aren't remotely intimidated by weapons with dumb names. No, let's go calm. If that's the case, then perhaps you shouldn't bring his crossbow up so readily. He laughs at this and explains that he wanted to make you aware he's available for mercenary work in the future, as he heard that you are regularly getting attacked. You can't deny the truth of that. He hands you his card, winks and leaves. The card reads, Chekhov, crossbow diplomacy. <laughs> Please tell me he's now, like, available to hire, like, as a fucking hero or something, because that's ridiculous, that's hilarious. Uh... Yeah, we uh, we have one slot that I could fill with someone if I wanted. Um, I'm going to take that. Fine blade to serenity. Serenity is up here. Uh, one thing that I did want to do though is buy my fill of meat when it's at fifteen a piece, all the way up to there. That's ridiculous. Okay, and then. Sure, let's take a mission to go up to Serenity. We'll head up there. What was the first mission? It was uh, Wolves on the Road from Lancer to Archon. Okay, well let's make sure that we've got someone for us. So we've got two, three trips. Uh, let's get the Hunter. Okay. Right, to Archon! Uh, I've run in with Rafik. It is Rafik. Somehow, it feels as though it, was, it is always Rafik. He certainly does cover the miles, you must admit, as you seem to pass him with greater regularity in these roads than anyone else. More's the pity. He waves at you with the most unfeigned of enthusiasm. You're like the sight of land for a sailor upon the waves, my friend. Uh... Share intel. You tell Rafik about the situation in the market of the town he's heading towards, which you just recently departed. You also sketch out a few rumours about likely price fluctuations in the kingdom that you've heard lately. He's very appreciative. He leans in and conspiratorially whispers something about a castle. Then he steps back and winks. His demeanour says that he just fed you a very, very valuable piece of information. But you're not entirely sure what he was talking about. Oh. I gained intel, whatever the fuck intel is. Well, apparently I'm, a, I'm an escort expert, but I don't know what the fuck that is. To battle! Alright, I want... Upton, I want you there. I want you guys there. I think Upton can handle this himself, but I'm going to put Merry beside him. Oh, thank God I did. Merry just got aced. 
Wow, poor many. That's the way we wanted to die. Alright. And you guys are buying that for over the odds. And I bought it for 15, so... Bandits on the road to Randos. I'm not going to Randos, I'm going to Serenity. Uh, what are you selling for cheap? Ale. Always sell an ale for cheap. Alright, let's head up to Serenity then. I feel like I've got enough people just now. That guy would be nice for 5 trips, 200 apiece. That's nuts though. I'll take the old soldier for 50 bucks just to, uh. Just to kind of shore stuff up. A highwayman! Um. They want blood, it's only one guy. Right, continue. Like it says, it's only one guy. Ambush! Our first. Uh, on first sight, the stretch of the road didn't look much different to countless others who've been down already. Did you sense something was wrong after a while? Or is it that your mind's playing tricks you now as a bandit rush from behind cover? Fight back! Nothing for it but to be ready for a fight. They may have the advantage of surprise, we have the advantage of uh, something else. Right, I'm going to put Upton there and Quinnild there, and then Michael and Luella on this side. Oh shit. Oh no, we were fine. I prefer Upton on the sides. No, Upton! See you later, man. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I bought these. And they're just average cost anyway, so I don't really fancy selling them. Although I do only have six days left. Escort someone to Aton for 124 and monsters on the road to Aton. Well, if that's 600, Aton's just there. I mean, I was wanting to go to Aton anyway. What was it? Missions? That's monsters, though. I can't. I can't do monsters, man. No way. I am going to hire these two though. And we're heading to Aton. Flee the monsters! Oh, for fuck's sake. Nice, we killed it. Sweet. Alright, we made it into here and... They're selling lumber for cheap, but so is Mandrago, but it's going to take me a day to get there. Zero's on the road to Randos. We've lost like most of our people though. A traveller going to Arrow. Okay, Arrow's fucking miles away, why'd I even take that? Ooh. I can basically pay that guy off and get the guardsman as well and take that mission going down to Randos. Okay, let's travel for the eight hours down to there. Oh my god, these guys are fucked. Like proper fucked. Combat mission successful. Okay, nice. We get to sell off all our food for over the whack. Uh, what do you have for cheap? You've got hides for a ridiculous profit. Okay. You got anything going down to... Archon, no you did not. Alright, well, I'm gonna head down to Archon. Ah, a sweet comedy. Five bandits emerge from behind cover and step personally into the road. You quickly sense that something's different about this attack. Not quite. Normal. 
At first glance, the bandits each look like your standard bandit, but the more you look at them, the more you feel like they look somehow false. The mannerism of the bandits seeming like affection. It starts becoming a lot more obvious when you start speaking. Halt, good merchant, and know this. We wish only for your goods and not more, unless it's trouble you seek. You frown, another begins to speak. I say we just put an end to this miserable life. My thirst for blood is always thirsty for more blood. The other bandits look unhappy with this. Polonius, enough with your madness. This life of banditry is dark, aye, but there is no need for us to be savages. Is there not a certain nobility in our aims and stalwart hearts? This at least I hope, still. Is it not so? What the fuck? You'll now be uncertain that this is a band of actors. Remonstrate with them. You certainly inform the actors it's an extremely dangerous practice and that they could easily be mistaken at first glance for real life bandits and injured by jumpy guards and merchants. Oh. I lost Cam. Yeah, well, people try to attack me all the fucking time. A deer flashes across the road in front of you, uh, ahead of your caravan, quickly followed by a whistling arrow which apparently misses its mark, pinging off a rock instead. Not long after this, the arrow is tailed by its inaccurate ori or originator, a young hunter. He notices the caravan, turns and bows theatrically, and then walks over. I'm gonna hire him. Ah, he's just a local hunter, Warren. Ah, we got four trips out of him. That's fine. Okay, let's go into the market here and sell off those hides for a fair shot over what we paid for them. I go to Aton on the road to Randos. There we go. We're going to Arrow. We're not really going to Aton or Randos. Hey, what have you got to sell? Ah, uh, you've got some ale. For 48. Right, we've got 54 then. Let's go to Arrow. I've still got, yeah, I've still got most of my security. A singular figure is walking down the road in the direction of your cart. As they come closer, you realise this isn't a bandit or highwayman, not a guard or messenger, no priest, monk or preacher. The man carries himself with the swagger and poise of a fighter, but has the, uh, the, countenance, the countenance of a nobleman and the unsettling intensity of a true believer. His hair is blonde and slicked back, his black cloak illuminated with golden details that catch the light. He greets you as he approaches. Merchant, none should be better at appraising this than you. What is the most valuable commodity? Uh, friends and allies. In the end, there is nothing that matters more than friends and allies. They make both business and life possible, and neither would be worthwhile without them. An unexpectedly soft-hearted response from a merchant, but I'm afraid I must disagree all the same. I've come to realise the most valuable commodity is belief. It is the cause of action, the engine of change, the rudder of fate. Belief makes the world before your eyes. I'm trying to think what- I don't think belief is an option. You could even say that control belief is to control the world, I suppose. He laughs at this, bids you a good day and is on his way. You find yourself strangely perturbed by this meeting for some time as your cart makes its way. Uh, you happen upon a broken down wagon, two seconds, I just went, yeah, I've got ale, so I can buy some meat and arrow, sweet. Uh, it appears it slid off down a relatively steep embankment, losing the front wheel and damaging the axle in the process. Standing a little way away are two downcast looking people, a man and a woman, presumably the owners. Uh, I'm going to offer to repair it again. Hey, I got four meat and two hides. I got four meat, great. <laughs> Alright, I got determination now. Right, we've got the Traveller to Arrow. Uh, we can sell the hides and... I mean... We bought that for 56, so... Such a waste though. Well, I can get to Oxtown and back before the price. Uh, missions. Anything to Oxtown? No. Give me the Soldier of Fortune. Screw it, just give me them all. They're all pretty cheap. Uh, guerrilla marketing. The swiftness of the attack is perhaps the most terrifying part. A crossbow bolt buried in a cart just a few inches from your head. Before you know it, you're surrounding all sides, ranged fighters taking aim from many angles, while heavily armed figures close in with swords, maces and warhammers. Things are not looking good for you and your guards. The leader seems to be a powerfully built figure, now approaching in full plate armour. Wielding a bardish, an unholy union of spear and battle axe, the armoured individual flips up his visor plate and a helmet to reveal a surprisingly friendly looking man with a bush, bushy moustache. 
When he speaks, it is in a deep baritone. Hello, good merchant. I am Jigen, and these are my colleagues, the Battle Fighters of Jigen, or B BFOJ for short. We are forward facing, highly trained, and extremely professional band of warriors for hire. We don't like to use the term mercenary because that has connotations of untrustworthiness and ill discipline, which is very much the opposite of us. I hope you're not alarmed by our simulated attack, but we believe it is a valuable way to demonstrate two key points. One, that the roads can be perilous indeed, and two, we're extremely good at what we do. We're based on Archon, I hope that if you have any security needs that you will consider us in the future. You are about as bemused as you're ever likely to be. Ask about a discount. You wonder if a discount for their services might be a part of this promotional effort, especially since a crossbow bolt did very nearly puncture your face. Jigen laughs generously at this and concedes that making a good deal with a merchant is always a tricky proposition, as they are such fine negotiators. He and his fighters say their merry good goodbyes and head on their way. Alright, we've lost our soldier of fortune. Their timber is for sale. Why have I got timber still? Well, shit. It appears that literally everything I'm doing right now is not working out in my favour. Uh, Tarandos. Bandits on the road to Arrow. Ugh. I mean, I'm probably going to end up fucking fighting them anyway, so I might as well get paid for it. Let's grab the hunter and one of the mercenaries. This isn't going to go well. Oh, maybe not. Hey! <laughs> a lot of guys may not be that good, but we still got paid for it. Oh my god, really? They've got major demand for beer now, and I've got beer. Ugh. Well. I think I'm just heading back up there. Nothing wants to go up to Oxton though, which sucks. Um, what? Eight hundred bucks. Give me the hunter for two trips, and then up to Oxton. Right, mark it. Sell my beer. Sell it all. And. Sell what food I've got sitting. Average cost, wow. Pretty much going to double that. I mean, you know what? I'm probably better off just buying meat. It sells for 30. I didn't even check the missions. Well, I failed that, so now what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now that I failed that. Um, bandits on the road to Archon. Which are 600 bucks. Okay, so as long as I spend... I can't even possibly spend less than 600 to defeat some bandits. So... Let's get both of them. Uh-oh. 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 Well, I don't know what we lost, but we lost fucking something. Give them 200 bucks so they fuck off. Oh, no, they took my 200 bucks and then they still attacked me. They didn't take any goods though, which is nice. Jesus. At least that's over the odds. At least all of that's over the odds. And the beer's still cheap, so... The thing is, it's like, you take the... You take the beer... Fuck, man, I paid a lot of money for those guys. Let's spend the money, grab the two monks. Missions. Bandits on the road to Randos, that's good, because that's where I'm going. Up to Randos. Wait, was there another mission here that I could have took? Yeah, let it to Randos. Cool. To battle with the bandits. I've got two monks here. 
And they kicked ass. Okay. Combat mission success. Okay. So I've done everything I needed to do and... Ugh. Support the town guard. No thanks. Uh, there's a combat mission up to Woodford. So let's take... Let's take that. The monster's on Woodford. Let's... Hire a guardsman for it and a soldier. And let's head up to Woodford. Let's just attack these fucking bandits. Let's put my monk here. Oh. Fortunately, the monk just kicked ass. Fucking wolves now. Jesus. Bonk. Bonk. Done. I thought, I thought it was... Well, I'll take that one. I'm not taking the letter arrow. Uh, security? Okay, I've still got some. Plus three higher slots. Plus one security, or plus one speed. Now let's just grab plus one speed, why not? But unfortunately guys, that is all we've got time for in this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Studio, you've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.